Friends, nobles, subscribers, lend me your ears. I have seen Cloverfield, and I don't know how many of you out there have, but one thing, if you have motion sickness or uh, suffer from vertigo in any way, you should not see this movie. It is bad for you. See, I went to see it, and I had no idea that I was affected by motion sickness. It's never happened before in all my 20 years. But in this one little hour and a half segment, I definitely experienced motion sickness. It could have had something to do with the fact that I sat in the front row, but I doubt it. <laughs> I wasn't physically sick, but I felt like I was gonna be. And um, really, it wasn't for much. Because, warning, spoiler alert, uh, the entire movie is this right here. Big Monster comes out of the sea and attacks Manhattan. That's it. That's all. There is no more to the movie. You catch every bit of story in the first 10 minutes that you need. Um, of course, that is exaggerative. I don't even know if that's a word. But that you catch the entire story rather quickly. Um, I really think it would have been a whole lot better if they'd used a real camera instead of handheld camera. But whatever. You know, they probably saved a whole lot on their budget. The whole thing probably cost a hundred bucks to make. I'm lying. Very good special effects. But, um, seriously, it is a wild and crazy movie. So for those of you that have not, um, seen it and don't have any form of movement problems... Actually, my videos probably bother you quite a bit if you suffer from motion sickness. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll try and get a new camera soon. Um, yeah, it is... It, it's pretty good. <laughs> For all my sickening myself, it's, it's good. Uh, if I'd sat in the back row, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. It's a guy movie. I mean, I'm a guy. So, Cloverfield, good for those of you that do not have motion disorders. So, I also have a second thing to talk about, moving right along to the next thing. I was, I was out at um, a local uh, little supermarket. Um, I won't say the name of it because I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that without giving credit somewhere, so I'm just gonna stay away from that whole thing. So, um, I was at a local supermarket area, and I saw someone that I haven't seen in a long time, and I, I talked to them for like a minute, two minutes, something like that, and then the person just, he said, well, yeah, I've, I've got to do a thing, you know, the, that whole thing everybody does, you know, oh, I've got a thing, I gotta run. You know, to, to dispose of somebody, and then you make plans just before you go and do that thing to talk later. Why? <laughs> I think, and I submit to you, all subscribers and passers by, that we've lost the art of conversation. What we used to have, the dialogues that were once commonplace between even strangers, are gone. The, the pleasantries that we used to exchange while passing people on the street, a simple hi, a smile, do you do it anymore? Have you ever done it? Do we hold the door open for strangers? I mean, these are, these are things that are going through my mind as I'm walking down the street. Because I really don't have anything else to do. There's no one with me. <laughs> um, I submit that America would be a better place 
if we would just simply say a quick hello as someone was passing us in the street or just a simple holding a door open for someone maybe someone with a baby stroller you know whatever but what's most important to me is the art of conversation I like people I like talking to people I like spending time with people and I feel that there's less and less opportunities to do that every day which is why I find myself talking to a camera <laughs> but on my days off like like this I don't go down to the coffee shop and just strike up a conversation with somebody no what I do is I read a book in that coffee shop and close people off I challenge every person watching this video to go somewhere within the next seven days and just strike up a conversation with someone you've never met maybe someone you'll never see again hey maybe you're thinking yeah that's stupid but maybe just maybe you're thinking yeah that's really cool maybe you agree with me but even if you don't I charge you to strike up a conversation with someone you've never seen before because that could change someone's life forever it could change yours you don't know what other people have to offer you until you try it so get out there and start conversating and find me at a later date